This is the December 13th, 2013 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Web scientist and Tetheless World Research Senior Constellation Professor Deborah McGinnis has been selected as a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The association cites McGinnis for contributions to the semantic web, knowledge representation, and reasoning environments. Rensselaer will strengthen its strategic partnership with the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai on the launch of the new Mount Sinai Institute of Technology, which seeks to transform biomedicine through discovery and development of technology-based solutions to critical unmet healthcare needs. The Rensselaer community is invited to come together with local residents for the Institute's annual holiday concert on Sunday, December 15th. This year's performance is an invitation for people in the campus and capital region communities to rejoice in this place. Chemical engineering professors Stephen Kramer and Pankaj Karande are contributing to a collaboration among academia, industry, and the federal government to develop a method for rapidly manufacturing biologic drugs. The project aims to provide frontline military medics with the ability to produce high-purity, high-potency drugs in as little as 24 hours. A new way for diabetics to test for glucose levels, a concussion-reducing baseball helmet, a new process for creating batteries for electric vehicles, and a device that makes trucks more aerodynamic are among the 10 winning ideas from more than 113 entries in the Fall 2013 Change the World Challenge. Students enrolled in a first-level Chinese course had a chance to explore a virtual version of a Beijing tea house as they got a first glimpse of the much-anticipated Mandarin project being developed at the Emergent Reality Lab at the Rensselaer Technology Park. When it comes to addressing natural disasters, what ideas can young students offer? Just ask the 14 elementary and middle school teams from the Capital Region who competed in the first LEGO League qualifying tournament at Rensselaer. More than 140 students spent the fall working together to use their imaginations and creativity in combination with science and technology to seek ways to solve natural disasters. With support from the Photosynthetic Systems Division at the U.S. Department of Energy, researchers in the School of Science are expanding a successful research program to uncover the minute workings of the photosynthetic protein Photosystem II. The high-impact research, led by K.V. Lakshmi, seeks to adapt photosynthesis for artificial use as an abundant source of renewable energy. The popular men's ice hockey tradition known as the Big Red Freakout is in its 36th year and Rensselaer hockey fans are invited to the annual Big Red Freakout Ice House to celebrate this coming February. And that's it for this edition. For more on these stories and others, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.